Welcome to the Sledgehammer Activation. My name is Jeremy Lassman. And I want to thank you for being here. Slowly just Tune in to your breath, feel the gravity of your body and whatever thing you're sitting in right now. And if it helps you focus, keep your eyes closed. And again, just pay attention to your breath and to the syllables of my voice. Let go as much as you can of grabbing onto thoughts. Let them be. Can pick them up later. Just take your slowest, deepest breaths of the day. Allow yourself to feel neutral in your body, to feel neutral about your body. Neutral about this moment about your life. No need to engage in any drama right now. Just slow down. Feel okay with the space between my words. Allow whatever wants to rise up to rise up with as little resistance as possible. Nothing to fight. Nothing to control. Nothing to resist. Nothing. No thing. Nothing to focus either.
Now, as we open up our curiosity, I want you to be mindful of the difference between self-conscious identification with the answer, with needing an answer, and with entangling with any of the meaning of the answer, and instead be aware of the presence beneath any answer. In other words, the only faculty I want you to play with is listening. Curiosity and listening. No further engagement is necessary. No logic is necessary. What I mean by that is no answer then, 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 then. So as we open the curiosity, open the portals of our curiosity, we are just awareness, observers, listeners of what arises. not any personalities, doers, actioners, or anything that brings us out of this moment. The first question What thematic, what theme of struggle? Suffering, pain, puzzle, confusion, burden, is the most prevalent in your field right now. Listen. No fixing necessary. No judgment necessary. Allow it to bubble to the surface in a clear, direct word, image, sensation, 
Mm. Emotion, feeling, simple. See it. Allow it. Accept it. No fighting. No conflicting. Just visualize it on your screen of consciousness without any personal meaning. Just the awareness of this theme. This pattern, this reoccurring problem in your field or life, self. Listen for it to be as clear as possible. Take a deep breath. And if a, a few come up, that's fine too. We're looking for the largest magnitude, the biggest. Just observe it, get closer to it. There is, in this space, there is no thing to fear because we are just listening, just awareness without reaction or response necessary as objective as possible. Mm -hmm. And in this still space of curiosity, wonder, and listening, We are going to initiate a conversation with this entity as if it is an intelligence, because it is, it's energy, consciousness. Is this all of you? If no, I want you to invite the full scope of it as if you were welcoming a friend into your home. Mm -hmm. I 
want you to see all of it. The shape of it. The color of it. The texture of it. The size of it, especially. And I want to ask you, what is the size of it relative to an object in real life? We want to get the relative scope. The relativity meaning the comparison to a real life object so we understand. And so we're not confused or afraid of something because we don't understand or see what it really is, where it blows out of proportion because we don't know what the proportion is. So is it as big as a table? Is it as big as a house? Is it as big as a football field? Get clear on how big this is. So that you feel that you are actually looking at it with precision. Curiosity, wonder, listening. How much time is contained in you? Ask it that. Allow a number to arise. Listen. How much time is contained in you? Specific. Ten years. Twenty years. A hundred years. Listen for a number when you ask it. How much time is contained in you. Feel it. Amazing. That amount of time is in your field. Now I want you to scan your body. And first feel where you feel this time in your body. What points in your body do you feel it most? And then gather it all up into a, the central screen that you are looking at right now. Gather it all up. Gather it all up. Gather it all up. This collection of time, this object, 
this theme And now I want to ask you, the soul, the spirit, the presence, you, you as a body, you as a mind, you beyond, do you want to continue carrying this collection of X amount of time, this object, this theme in your body anymore? Yes or no? No. If yes, that's totally fine too. You can turn off this activation right now. But I am assuming you have said no on all levels of yourself. I do not want to carry this in my body anymore, this time in my body anymore. No, no, I do not want to carry this in my body anymore. Curiosity, wonder, listening to the inner child, to the inner child's imagination. Asking him or her, what is the funnest, most exciting way that you want to destroy this time in my body, this shape, this entity. Do you want to blow it up? Do you want to drop it in hot lava? Do you want to punch it? Do you want to drive over it? What is the most funnest metaphor for the inner child to destroy it? What makes him laugh with glee and joy at the magnificence of destruction to that child's imagination? And for this activation, aptly named the sledgehammer, we will use a sledgehammer, but use whatever metaphor you'd like. And what I'm gonna do is dream up a cosmic sledgehammer. The strongest, most powerfulest 
sledgehammer in the universe. The craziest material, the craziest wielding action, just breathtaking. <laughs> And in whatever you have metaphored and dreamed up in your child's suspension of disbelief and magic and pure creativity, we are all going to count out loud from 10. And once we get to zero, you're going to initiate whatever it is that you have concocted to destroy it. And then we're going to watch together as all of our time, all of our collected time and theme gets destroyed. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Smash. Take a deep breath. Feel your body where that pain or weight was. Just feel the explosion of that time into smithereens into space dust, into nothing. Take another deep breath. Thank you. Thank you for having the courage to do this both for yourself and for the collective. You have just eased the burden of time on this planet by clearing all of that negativity out of your field right now. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>